Right. This uh, video is about uh, introduction to premium DK2. So this tool is available on the options menu over here, premium DK beta. Now, the first thing that you do is uh, select the symbol here with latest to view latest data. Uh, and select the expiry and how many strikes you want uh, included in this data. So I have selected near ATM strikes with a fixed center strike where the center strike does not change. Usually when you select uh, near ATM strikes here, uh, it can automatically, the center strike can automatically change because uh, this is the ATM strike. So it can change as market moves based on what you select when you select this near ATM strikes. But here, uh, since I want to view the change of premiums with respect to uh, the ATM strike that was there at market open. So I want to see how premium has moved since then. So I am taking a fixed strike. I mean, you may take whatever you wish, but this is what I usually suggest. So you can select this. And to select this, you can reuse a uh, the synthetic futures price, which we call fair price as the starting point. So to check that, you can uncheck this here. And this fair price line that has been enabled over here, this dark brown color line, the start of that line is showing as this data is for Friday, uh, the 14th of November. So the starting first minute closes 23,641. So I've taken 23,650 as the center strike. So go to go back to change of prices, you click price change, which is how uh, it should be. Uh, now here as price uh, changes, this it's always, always starts from zero, uh, both the dark fair price line and the green call prices line and the red put price line. So these are premium changes actually. Uh, instead of premium decay, we should be calling it premium change actually. This shows you the change of premiums of these options that you have selected, five near ATM strikes. So these strikes are the one that get selected for this data. So the change of premiums of calls and puts are plotted here from market open. So at any time from market open, what is the change? That is what is shown here. Now the idea here is to uh, give few minutes for the market to open and settle down and say approximately after 9.30, you want to see which line is uh, above zero to begin with and ideally above the fair price change line also. So it means that that uh, there is some strength in the move. So here is where uh, it is, or rather even over here, 940, this is where some strength is being shown over here. On the put side, that is the market going down. And then it reversed over here. And then over here, calls are showing strength. And that again got reversed here. So while Going up and also while going down, uh, one line will shoot up above the fair price line and then uh, ideally stay above that line and zero line if it is strong enough. Or if it breaks down below the fair price line and then the zero line, then that means the strength of the move is gone. So you'll see many times both the lines being below zero where it indicates indecision or a sideways move. Only when one of the line takes off above zero and goes strongly to the upside, that is when we can say that the market is trending on one side. So now you can you can take a look at this on various charts. You can go back to history also and check. You can go to historical here and check previous uh, days data and you'll see that these kind of patterns uh, keep forming all the time. So whenever you see a pullback uh, and uh, one of the lines falling below zero, also look at what is happening on the other line. I mean, if if this line has weakened over here, it has weakened over here and then finally gone down below zero. 
but you don't see like this call line is not really showing any strength at all. So this, it just this just means that it's just a pullback. So market has gone down significantly and then it has pulled back to, uh, it has gone up a little bit and it has pulled back over here. See, this pullback is there. But this pullback doesn't have strength because calls are not uh, really uh, rallying. So, so this is just a temporary pullback. Then again, the market falls. See, market falls over here. Then again, sideways to slide up over here. Again, the same pattern. So it goes on. I mean, overall uh, decline has dominated for the day. So, and this is what this indicates. Now, uh, you need to combine this uh, with uh, price charts also. And also, you can keep an eye on uh, the options OI stats tool, which tells you, which gives you a slightly different information uh, from this. This is fully price based and, of course, very important. But you can also keep an eye on the uh, open interest data in uh, using options voice stats tool uh, that I have discussed in another video. So over there you get uh, uh, to know what kind of sentiment there is. I mean, what kind of uh, trades or uh, positioning is happening. Uh, so the open interest will tell you that. The why change uh, will give you an idea on which side the sentiment is. So that coupled with this, and then you finally just uh, look at the price charts and see uh, what is happening and you can take decisions. Now, how to use this exactly for practical trading is where, so suppose you are a buyer, option buyer. So until you see some real strength on one side, there is really no point uh, trying to buy something or buy an, an option, especially when uh, these two lines are below uh, zero over here also and over here also, then there is there is no point over here until really it starts taking up over here uh, when it, where it shows strength, probably a little bit over here. Uh, until that time, there is no really no chance. You cannot uh, really uh, buy an option. And also, even if you buy, then you need to, because from here, see, suppose you catch a breakout over here, and then you buy some option from these, either at the money or near the money. So, and then you have to be ready to really take a look over here and analyze, uh, looking at this. Uh, there's no follow through happening here. I mean, price went here, pulled back a little bit, went up, and then it started, uh, it consolidated, and then it did not follow through to the upside. Once it does not do that, then uh, there is a good chance that uh, the move is not coming. So here the price has declined, basically, the market has declined. So suppose you have bought a put here and then over here, this the move is gone. And for option buyers, this is very important because even if market stabilizes a little bit, so the volatility will go down a little bit and then the prices will come down. So you have to be very sharp and uh, take your profits uh, when you have the chance and get out of the trade. So for example, let me, uh, I have plotted uh, 23,650, the, the money strike that was there at market open in our FNO charts. So it's this these same strikes, uh, call and put, I have plotted over here. So it is this, this uh, spike that was there on the put side at around 942. So I'm looking at only moves that are happening after 9.30 or so because I'm, First few minutes, you can just leave it because uh, it may not follow through. The market may not follow through. Over here, 942 on the put side. Uh, 942 on the put side. This this is the bar over here. This is the bar. This is a one minute chart. And this bar. Now, even if you have bought this thinking that uh, the market has shot up and that calls have gone down and puts have gone up. So let me just go and buy a put. So even if you buy this put, since you're an option buyer, make sure you have some kind of a stop loss quite close. Or if you're using something out of a super trend or something, once it goes down, that's it. I mean, uh, this whatever this spike was there, it's probably over. So then uh, there's no point really uh, being in the move. Uh, 
for trying to capture upside over here because unless it breaks out above this, there is no chance that this move will go on. Over here also, uh, if you see, it's quickly went down below zero and the call is not going up. So like uh, maybe this move can continue further, but you'll see that it's not really following through. Now here, uh, the same similar thing happens here at about 10, 2 or so. The call side, uh, uh, it has shot up at around 10, 2 over here, over here. So again, if you bought a call here, then uh, if you want to see, if you want to capture something like this, there are different strategies. We'll discuss that in another video. Uh, so this is for only the premium DK tool. So I'm going to discuss only this. So suppose you are bought based on this signal over here, uh, 10 to around over here. Again, you need to have, you need to probably exit over here. And then you might look at re-entry above this. Uh, but uh, once you get, you, you see this, that the super trend has broken down, then uh, more or less this move is over because you, you can't take the risk that uh, thinking that uh, market will follow through. You need this uh, indicator to hold and continue to go up, only then it might continue. Then again, after that, this nothing happens. If you'll see that uh, both uh, are going down over here, call and put, both are going down. So there's a DK happening over here. This is that DK. And then market starts to take off after say 10.53, around 11 o'clock or so, just before 11 o'clock or so. So, and this is on the downside. This is on the downside. So at 11 o'clock or so, market starts to go up. So this is again, option buyer scan probably go for it. So whatever little you can capture, you can capture. So this is this is what is uh, the idea for option buyers. For uh, option sellers, it's basically the opposite. Suppose, let us say we have sold this straddle. So once you have sold this straddle, when you see this kind of a spike over here or this kind of spike over here, you would probably be uh, thinking of uh, hedging, maybe hedging. And if you have hedged over here, if you have hedged a put on this side, then you need to exit that hedge over here. And then you come back to a straddle. When, when it shoots up over here, probably you will hedge it over here and then you get out of that hedge over here, you're back into straddle. So the idea is to stay in a straddle over here, but then hedge the side that is going up. So you again over here, around over here, probably you will hedge over here and then you exit the hedge over here. In the meantime, since this is decaying, so you're not in a, probably in a big loss, maybe slight profit or maybe slight loss. So you hedge this and then get out of this with an idea of going back into the hedge above this, once it breaks above this. By here, you should be out of the hedge. So, uh, and then similarly, once, once this happens, you don't, you are not in any danger again, then you have to take a look over here. Again, 12.30 or so. And in the meantime, call, your call is just decaying. So there's nothing much to do. Maybe you can uh, see if the call has decayed a lot, whatever you're holding here, the call is decaying a lot. So you might want to match it up with the put price or whatever if it's, the disparity gets too large. But the idea is to remain in a straddle or a strangle, something like that. So again, over here, 12.30 or so, you're again trying to see if you want to hedge or not. So you can decide based on that and then unhedge over here with an aim of again hedging once it breaks out about this. So this year again, it decays. So nothing much to do. Again, over here, again, over here, you can consider at 140 again. I don't think it's a big move over here. And in the meantime, whatever call is there, if it is decaying, you need to uh, match it up with this. And then the idea again is to remain in the straddle of strength. So you can use it that way to uh, uh, use this chart to uh, give you an idea using price charts, of course, uh, to see how you can manage your position, whether it's a buyer or a seller. So I, I hope uh, you have uh, got the idea for this. Let me know if you have any questions, you can send me a message or you can join my webinars when we do it.